Hey, Shalom. First off, I'd like to say, Kal Halal, Yahweh. By Shem, by Shai, by Shem, by Shem, Kwah, Kwah, I'd like to say double honors to the apostles of GMS, double honors to, to, to the kinetic elders of GMS, our great brothers. Greetings and salutations to the brothers in this country and all over the world who are prophesying in the true name, what your people stupidly call God in Christ. The true name is Yahweh, by Shem, Shai, which is none other than the power of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans and anybody who descends from those people on their father's side. Shalom to those who are scattered abroad. I'm Yaikwab. I'm Yahabudu. And uh, uh, basically, we're going to come up with a title. We're going to be there already. But basically, the, the title is going to be somewhere like to say uh, uh, King David, uh, Samson, and Moses. LOL. You ain't seen nothing yet. Okay? That might be the title. You know? You ain't seen nothing yet. And. Uh, First, we like to say, look, we, we at camp, you know, brothers, you live on camera Zion. The Lord just uh, 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 pray, uh, blessed us uh, 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 with uh, seeing, um, we seeing chariots, man. You see, know, uh, about, about 20, about a fleet. Probably a fleet, you know? probably a 30, probably huh? more than 20. And they were there sitting there, it was flying by. It's like, it was flying by, and it uplifted my spirits to the point, man, hey, man. Yo, man, them same chariots that we saw, it's gonna be the same chariots that's gonna deliver us, man, out of this madness, man. Huh, huh, so we're just a little, uh, we're trying to get our, our head together. But scriptures say, do not be dismayed, but I mean, hey, it's a beautiful thing to see the uh, holy chariots of the Holy Father, Yahweh Shai. That's gonna, that's gonna, that's gonna be the instrument of our deliverance. That's right. And Yahweh Shai is gonna come back in those, man. You know, and um, that's actually, uh, that's one of the greater things. That's you know, great. because, um, with, with the chariots come what? Spiritual power that the Lord, the Lord's gonna bestow his men upon, you know, put his men on, you know? Right. So we can get, um, I guess get uh, St. John 14 and 12. Let me see that some. Now, let me get St. John okay. chapter 14, verse 12. It says, verily, verily, that means truly, truly. That's right. That's verily, right. verily, I say unto you. That's how, the, that, this is how the Lord's word, our deliverer. All right, Yahweh Shai, Malachi Yahweh Shai, our king, that's our, right. our deliverer, that's okay? Right. First, I mean, John chapter um, 14, verse, verse, the, um, the, cha the chariots are still there. Yeah. Brother Priest Palau, Brother Palau is still looking at them. <laughs> they still that there, was, man. That was, that was the, that was the greatest fleet I've ever seen. Yeah, man, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful experience, man. Allah, 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 Yahweh, Shema, Shabbat, Shema, 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 and these dummies don't see, look at them, they all, you know. They don't care, they, they don't, don't care. know, they have not a clue what's going on, man. They're huh? part of the two-thirds, man. And they're going to remain in the congregation of the dead until the most high, Destroy this place, and then they go. Then they gonna. Then they gonna. Um. Yeah, well, then they, then gonna, they gonna know it after death by pain, man. Huh, huh, huh. They gotta go through death, and they gonna know that they Israelites, but they gotta go through, go through death and pain. But this is first. This is this is John chapter fourteen verse twelve. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do. Shall he do also? Yeah, so what works did uh, the Lord do back in the ancient world? Well, he turned uh, water into wine, you know? And not only did he turn into wine, he turned into the best wine at, at the wedding, if you swear. Everybody knows about that story. What else did the Lord do? Well, he walked on water in the midst of a storm. Not a, not, not a calm storm, but the Lord walked, we people missed that point. Where the waters was stretched yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, come on, come on. Waves everywhere and all that, and the Lord was walking on water, all right? In the midst of... Uh, when you read the scripture, he did it, he did it more than once. And brother, uh, uh, the, um, Peter and all the disciples were on the ship, and they were like miles into the ocean. So he wasn't. There was no way he could have got there. But how did he get there? He had the spiritual power. So he was walking on water without anybody taking him there, man. And he wasn't walking on water when the boat was right here. Yeah, it, was, it was miles into the ocean, man. That's right. Maybe two miles right. out. Well, maybe more. Mile out. Yeah, maybe more. Huh. You know. Well, what else? Did, what else did he do? He Lord raised the dead. Huh. Healed the sick. Um, um, give oh, um, yeah, yeah, well, the lame, um, give them their body right. parts. That's right, that's yep, con, con. He also, um, well, uh, yeah, heal the sick, heal the blind. He also, um, fed what uh, 5,000 people with, with five loaves of fish or three loaves of fish. I forget the number. He would come fishing bread, I'm fishing bread, con. yeah, con. So, you know, that's the works that he did, and, and more because the scriptures say, actually, get there's a precept you can get, uh, get, uh. St. John 14, verse, that's the, actually, I just thought, that's the third one I wanted to give. 
Matter of fact, these people who put up plants. Yeah, come because you know basically when Yahweh Shah was on the earth, man, I'm saying doing this performing this doing this ministry, you know what I'm saying, performing the miracles. You had a sect that believed in Yahweh Shah and a sect that didn't believe. Now the sect that believed in Yahweh Shah was the one third. You had men. He had 70 men, 70 souls that was with him. But when he said, when he made a statement, and a lot of them men left him because why? They was carnal. They was taken on a carnal level. But when you when you look at everything on the spiritual level, yeah, I was shot was was um here only for the elect, man. Only to deliver the elect. I'm saying that's why you had after the, the 70 souls left your yeah, Shah, you had the 12, man. That was it. there. And they remained faithful and they became apostles. And they did the work of the Most High after he left. After he, after he got in Acts the first chapter, Yahweh Shah got um a governor to um a governor to a chariot and went back to the spirit world, man. Yeah. The very same chariots we saw over here, man. Right. Right. So you got that scripture? Yeah, I got it. it. Yes, uh St. John 12, I mean excuse me, 20, verse uh, uh 30. St. John 20 verse verse 30. Read, yeah, I got 30, it. 30, 31, yeah. St. John 20, verse 30. Uh -huh. um, Talk about the Lord's, what he did in, in, the, in, in when he was here, you know? Yeah, 2,000 years ago. Uh -huh. says, Over 2,000 years ago. Come, it says, um, and many other sons did, and many other sons truly did Yahweh Shah, it's like it said, and many other sons truly did Yahweh Shah in the presence of his disciples, uh -huh. and not, which were not written in this book. Man. One more time, one more time. Read it again. Uh -huh. And many this, um John chapter 20 verse 30. And many other sons truly did Yahweh Shah in the presence of his disciples, which are which are not written in this book. Look, that's right. So right there. What said that what? Yahweh Shah did many things, many miracles. This is after he rose from the dead, by the way, which is another major, you know, that, that has never been seen in, in, in his world's history, besides Elisha, you know, uh, or certain prophets that did that. But he himself rose back from the dead, right? Which, how is that even feasibly possible, man? Once you die, right, in this world, they tell you're dead. So right. not according to the scriptures, man. Not which tell you death is not real. So he rose up and he was dwelling with the apostles after for well, 40 days and 40 nights. Dwelling with them. He prayed unto him a few times. And this one's talking about he showed him so many things that it couldn't have been, you can't even write it down. You couldn't even the acts that Yahweh shot did it tell you in the scriptures. You can't even contain. Yeah. In a book, yeah, you can't contain, you can't in the contain book. all the work, all the works that Yahweh Shah did, man, because it was many, man. Yeah, that's that's the last, that's actually the last verse in Saint John. Huh. But this one's talked about the stuff that he was doing. Uh, 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 read it one more time. I actually just finish it off. I have to read it one more time. Yeah. This is John chapter twenty, verse thirty, and many other signs truly did Yahweh Shah in the presence of his disciples. Those signs with the spiritual power, those make that the spiritual power that was doing anything. anything. He probably was showing him stuff they're doing in the latter days. Not probably. The Lord was showing him stuff that he was going to do in the latter days. Probably flying, you know. Probably showing, him levitating, flying, and going on, you know, doing all this stuff he was doing. You know, it says, which are not written in this book, verse thirty-one. But these are written that ye might believe that Yahweh Shai is the is the Hamashiach. That's right. The anointed, the son, which the anointed, the son of Yahweh. And that believing he might have life through his name. Do his you name Yahweh while Yahweh shot. You know? And um hey man. That's right, that proves proves you the name's important, man. That's right. It just said it right there. You know? Now how how are we gonna believe it? Do his name. That's right. You know? that's and that's how you're gonna get the spiritual power. You ain't gonna get no spiritual power that's thinking you a man of the Lord and you screaming Jesus Christ. Nah, man, the men of the Lord, we're gonna be yelling and screaming the name of the Lord, man. Which is what? Yahweh by Shema and Shai. The true name of the Heavenly Father, man. Do his name. That name has power. And we just saw part of the power up there. What it, part, of, part of his uh what what did the Lord say? He said if, if my servants will fight, you know, or you can call them, which is the twelve the, the, the legions of angels, you know, and part of part of his, his army are the chariots, man. That's right. You know? It says so, um, so this is in Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 14. It says, therefore, behold. Oh, Slack, Slack. We thought, let's go back to St. John uh, 14. All right, come on, let's go to uh, Slack. Yeah, back we'll go to that. St. John chapter chapter um, 14, verse 12. Because we were preaching. Yeah. Verily, verily, I say unto you that he that believe on me, the works that I do, shall he do. Yeah, so we also. Just, also, right? So we just proved 
the works that he did, we're going to be doing too. All right? And it shows you that in um, the book of the Acts, when when John and Paul and um, they was like it Paul and um and Peter was doing miracles, man, hit on the set, yeah, you know. One of my favorite ones is that um, when Peter uh, went to a church, and um, it was Peter and uh, I believe John, and you had a, a man lame from birth, yeah. crippled, it was like a cripple. Yeah, I think that's the gate, yeah. yeah, at the gate. Yeah, act, and he was asking for arms every day at the yeah. gate. And he couldn't walk from birth, from birth. He never walked in his whole life. All right, and he would be, and people would have to carry him to the steps because when people were going to. to Give homage and praise and worship the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai. He would come also. Yeah. Well, he, he would ask for alms. He would ask for alms. You know, just like somebody, hey, can I get 50 cents? Something like that. So the Peter said, look, I don't have no to for you. Right? But I have the, the, the name he said, of the he, he said money. He said, he's, yeah. he said, he said, but I have this golden serve, I have none. So, but, 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 the name of the most high, but you know what I'm saying? The priest of the most high, but give him roughly power face. Uh, uh, and then he truly believed in the most high, guess what? He got raised up from a state that he was in. He was walking. You know, but you know the thing I like about that that one though, it says he was leaping. Yeah, he was leaping, he was and, leaping. He was, he was leaping and jumping up. That's where they get that from the church. But that don't that don't that's not the whole experience, man. But the thing is the Lord put that power in him. Imagine a man, he probably jumping up like Michael Jordan in there, man. Literally leaping and jumping up high. And praising the most high. Praising the most high. He got his legs back, man. That's right. Through the name. And that's that if you read the uh, uh Acts of Force chapter, it tells you there's no other name under heaven. That, that that these things could be these acts can be done by and we're gonna do that too we just we read it right now because the Lord said the acts that I do you shall do also but by Yahweh why Yahweh shot man there's no other name you can call upon me there's no other, there's no other power you can call upon but the almighty Yahweh and the son Yahweh shot man so get that through your thick skulls man you wacky tacky ass Christians man. yeah yeah even these dumb ass Israel like this yeah, you know they yeah, don't who, who, who scoff at the name yeah, like cut. IUIC yeah it's called on own Christ man. yeah Blessing Christ, man. That's that's madness, man. Yeah, huh. and that's, you, you can finish it. Yeah, then. This is back in back in um, John chapter fourteen, verse twelve. Verily, verily, I say unto you, right. he that believe on me, the works that I do, ye shall also, and greater works than these shall ye do, because I go unto my Father. Huh. And greater works than these ye shall do. So, I mean, you you got to think, sit back and be like, look, damn, we're gonna do greater works than he did. I mean. The Lord was walking on water. He was raising people from the dead. You know, he was turning. Uh, he was feeding uh, ten thousand people by, by, uh, by five loaves. You know, I don't know the number. Or, you know, I think four or three loaves of fish and bread. And he did that more than once. He, he you know, he did many acts. And, but the Lord said, we should do what he did, but, but greater. So what can be greater than that? Well, we're going to be doing the same thing we just mentioned, but also, what can be greater? Flying. Okay, taking down, taking down a, a brigade of or army. You know, having spiritual power. Having spiritual power, basically, man. Just like what you read in the, the comic books. I'll just say it straight. Superman, you know? Basically, be like, basically, Superman. All right? Basically, be the, the people you read in the comic books, you, you know, Lord willing, you're looking at it, man. See, that's what the men of the Lord are. Let's move on. Verse 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, in the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, that will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. And verse, what, I'm sorry, verse 14. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you can read that again. Sorry. I'm going to read it again. Verse, and this is John chapter 14, verse 13. And whosoever and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And that's right. So when that time comes when the Lord bestows that spiritual power on us, we're being surrounded and we we Know, they try to take us into the couch stretch camps or we're about to be beheaded, whatever happens, man. You ask the Lord to deliver you, but if it be his will, in in in, in his name and in, in the sincere spirit, he will deliver you out of that situation. If you ask for the power to live to you, no matter what the situation is, the Lord's gonna deliver you. Man. It says, verse 14, if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Lord is a part of the elect. You call the name of the most high and truth and sincerity, he will deliver you. Did any man in the ancient world, in the days of old, that called upon Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, in sincerity and truth, did the Most High forsake him? Yeah, no, heck no. The Most High delivered him, man. Yeah, come. But come. You, have, you have various men that was men of the Lord from Jeremiah, Ezekiel, um, 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 Isaiah, Ezra, that called upon the name of the Lord, the Most High, Job, and the Most High delivered them, man. Daniel. 
in the Daniel. Daniel. And, the, and the lion's there. All that. And the most I delivered them, man. Joshua. Joshua, that's right. You know? King David. King David. Yeah, hell yeah. King David. Yeah, hell yeah. And man. the most I delivered them, man. Yep. All the stuff you went through. That name is important, man. Yahweh Wad Yahweh Shai, that name is important, man. Well, king David is a, is a king. He's the original right. king under the under the Lord. Good. You know? He's gonna be our king when he when when when, when um everything is established, man. Good. Under Yahweh Shah, the rulers of Yahweh Shah. Go, no, 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 no. He's gonna be the king, man. King yeah. David, man. Hey, hey, man, that's all I wanted to say, man. No, no, you good? Hey, you good? I'm good. One more. Uh, Jeremiah 16. Right. So this Unless is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 14. It says, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that it shall no more be said that the Lord Yahweh liveth, that brought of the sons of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Yeah, it should no more be said. Basically meaning like, not like you're gonna forget it. Of course, that's gonna be a holy day we're still gonna remember in the kingdom. And also this time, this deliverance, but 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 it should no more be said. We're not gonna be looking at looking at that time as the greatest time, one of the greatest apex of, of the history of Israel, because we honor that day. That's one of the highest holy days to remember when the Lord uh Yahweh Shai through the poverty Yahweh delivered us and used Moses to deliver us out of Egypt. That's that's renowned. We always remember and talk about that. But now, when, when the Lord comes back this time around, all right, this great deliverance by the holy chariots that we just saw, a fleet of them just now, okay, uh, a fleet of them, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, under undescribable, man. We're not gonna we're not gonna be really we're not gonna talk about it. We say it the right way, but this is what I'll do that by far. All right, Mr. Solomon, chapter five. The strangers of your salvation, man, are being beamed up in them chariots, man. This this deliverance is going to surpass what happened in ancient Egypt, man. When the deliverance of when Yahweh Shah had Moses gave Moses the power to, to, to bust the Red Sea in half, man. That's going to be it's going to be far more extravagant. The deliverance yeah. we're going to receive extravagant, spectacular, spectacular. Uh, it's going to be extravagant and spe spectacular, dramatic, dramatic, intense. Intense is going to be. I mean this. Words cannot describe how we deliver us, those who are part of the elect, man. Being beat up in them chapters, man. Wisdom of Solomon, the, first, the fifth chapter, the first verse one down, man. God. Explains that, man. God. The strangeness of your salvation. Not only Esau, but Israel, the two thirds is going to be like, yo, dumb, dumb, dumb niggas. You know? And them niggas are the elect. The Lord won't be a part of that. Huh. You know, so again, part of that too is that spiritual power. That's right. You know, that part of that too is that spiritual power that the, that the Lord's going to bestow his men on. And again, we're not going to be talking about, we will be, let me say respectively, Samson and King David, all those great acts, Benaniah. But what the Lord's going to give us in these days, man, you know, man, you, you have no idea. You people have no idea. And then that, and that's when you're going to want to listen. That's you know? right. Uh, pertaining to uh, Psalm 104. I can get that real quick. I can piece it real quick. I think it's Psalms 110 and 4. Psalms yeah, they should be willing to pay that part. Yeah. I think Psalms it's 110 yeah. and 4. I believe it's that one. Yeah, man, because you know, hey, basically, man, you know, man, we, man, we approach some real times, man. That's right. It says, um, the first thing. Psalms 106. It's Psalms 110, verse 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Yeah, thy people, thy, thy people is a possessive pro pronoun, man. All right, saying that thy people is thy people of Israel, but thy people shall be willing, right, in thy day of thy power. All right, what power? The day of thy power. When the elect, yeah, yeah that spiritual power. When the, when the Lord bestows, and, we, and, and, and don't get it twisted, for us, for us to come out here and, and, do the, and do the Lord's work with sacrificing our lives and our body, because anything can happen out here, man. You know, that's spiritual power too. Ha understand the scriptures is spiritual power in its true sense. All right? Have, uh, breaking down the prophecies, breaking down the scriptures. That's spiritual power. But now the Lord's gonna give us that true spiritual power in a physical, in a physical sense that all people are gonna see him and then believe, but it's gonna be too late. Because even in, in uh what did the what did the Lord say to Thomas? When when Thomas wanted to see, he said, Look, I'm not gonna believe until I put my hands in the Lord's hand in the coal. If I touch him on the side, you know. And, and, and feel his hands, and then I believe he's here. You know, but what did the Lord say? He said, no, blessed is he that uh, believeth and don't see, That's rather right. than he that sees, That's right? right? So you people should have been paying attention right now, the whole time, all these, starting with the apostles of GMS, coming out here, and all the, all the people around the country, in this country, and all the world, prophesying the true name of Yahweh Shemashai, you should have been listening, man. But when that day come, when the Lord bestows that power upon us, man, it's, it's a wrap, okay, it's a wrap. 
So back in 110 verse, Psalm chapter 110 verse 3, that people shall be willing in the day of that power. What power? The spiritual power that's going to be bestowed upon us when we receive that, when we receive the new bodies, man. Coming back, you know, in new Jews, coming back in from the chariots and, and putting, and, and, you know, and, and putting every day in, you know, in order on this earth, man. Having them new bodies, that spiritual power, man. Wrecking havoc, man. Doing, you know, putting Esau in subjection, man. But the rest of the nation, man, doing the world's will. But before that, but before that, it's going to be spiritual power being displayed on a small level or, or, or whatever level the most high allows. Yeah. Why, whereas these unbelievers is going to be, That's right. you know, willing, yeah, willing, to believe at willing to believe at that point, man. Right. You know? Right. But it right. says, um, in the beauty in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning thou has the dew of thy youth that was right. it that was it yeah so back to um jeremiah 16 16 wherever you left off yeah yeah this is back in jeremiah chapter 16 verse um